Well, hi there, honey. Welcome to Blood and Beauty Hair Salon. My name is Vanity. Yes, do come on in. I love your lipstick shade. Now, what were we thinking today? You just want a little trim to get rid of the split ends, okay? And then a nice updo. All right. May I ask, is it for any occasion? Uh, you're off to meet an old friend. I've heard that before. I'm sure you're gonna have a great dinner date. So, we're gonna brush through your hair first. Just very quickly. Make sure there's no tangles. Such a lovely colour. Is it your natural colour? You know, how many vamps would kill for this colour? I mean, they would anyway, but they would go the extra mile for this. You know Claudia? She tried to dye hers this colour last week, but ugh. It did not look good on her. She just doesn't have the complexion for it. I've told her so many times, but she just does not listen. And so, she had to make an appointment and I was given the task of undoing that mess. I told her, of course, that it didn't look so bad, but it looked horrendous. Ugh, it was so bad. I'm just glad that I could fix it for her. Right. So you would like just a little trimming off the ends. Well, I think it looks just beautiful as it is, but okay. So I'll spray it just a little bit with water, okay, so it's a bit damp. Okay, I'll just check first. Okay, we're all right. <sighs> yeah, we once had um, an incident. Some prankster thought it would be funny to replace all the spray bottles with holy water. You can imagine how that went down. Thankfully it didn't cause much damage because it's such a small amount. But as you can imagine it smarted quite a lot. We still don't know who it was. There were rumours that it was a vampire hunter. They were trying to get to us. To show us that they're watching, but I don't really know what to think about it, honestly. What I do know is it was not a fun April Fool's Day. So, now your hair is damp. Let's look to get rid of these split ends here. Okay. You don't seem to have many, so that's good. It shouldn't take us very long. 
my tools here. Honestly, can't see many split ends. Your hair's actually in beautiful condition, but I'm sure we can find some. Let's have a little look, shall we? But yeah, that was not that was not a fun day at all. Speaking of things that aren't fun, have you heard? recently about the rogue vampire wreaking havoc oh it's been all the buzz around here oh yeah apparently they've been turning humans right and left without a cur for secrecy or discretion right it's disgraceful Who knows why they're doing it? That's what I said. <gasps> right? You just never know anymore. Yeah. Some say that they might be trying to expose our existence. <gasps> no way. You're one of the ones they turned? Oh, Verity, Verity, we've got a celebrity in here. Oh, I honestly can't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is fascinating. Do you remember much? No, I suppose not. We never really do from the night we're turned. Poor thing, though. Hope you're doing okay. Well, you seem to be. You are glowing. <laughs> no. Your hair is looking so fresh. And I thought you couldn't look any cuter, honestly. <laughs> Shall we start on the updo now? So, what is it that you want? Do you want to go full old school, uh, Dracula buns? Would you like Mary Antoinette sort of curls, ringlets? What would you like? What's your style? Maybe something more subtle for you. Classic. Pretty. With a few accessories. Okay. I'll put something together for you. A look like that shouldn't be difficult for you. You're honestly making my job very easy this evening. <laughs> so let's put a few a few braids in, shall we? Some elegant little braids. What I'm going to do is wrap a little ribbon around one piece and now as we braid we'll get that ribbon all the way through It's very subtle but it's a nice way to add some some colour or oh, lack of in this case. There we are. Nice velvet ribbon. 
It's so plush and pretty. And then I secure that. long ribbon okay and then from this side it's also really nice to add like a deep burgundy colour to add a little bit of regal or luxurious touch depends on your mood I suppose Just braid this side as well. It is really strange though about the rogue vampire. I hope you don't mind me calling them that. We've been calling them nightshade around here. But you know, so many people have their opinions on what's going on on what Nightshade's motives are. I'm sure you understand, in a place like this, we hear it all. We get so much gossip, so many different thoughts about it. It's quite crazy, really. You just don't know who to believe sometimes. Cassandra came in last week in the most hideous dress, I might add. It was so garish. Bright orange, lime green, and red. Can you imagine the combination? And her hair is neon yellow. <laughs> it was quite the spectacle. Talk about drawing attention to yourself. But she does crave it, so I shouldn't put it past her, really. Anyway, she came in and she told us that she heard from a friend of a friend that Nightshade is trying to build an army to create chaos within the vampire society. They're challenging the established order. Oh yes. Apparently, the vampire council have sent their best enforcers to track him down, but it seems that Nightshade is elusive. Always a step ahead. You didn't hear it from me, but I've also heard that there are a few lone vampire hunters seeking them out too. Hunters that are vampires themselves. And they've had more success than the Vampire Council. Just shows you. Sometimes, if you want a job doing, you have to do it yourself. Take matters into your own hands. Or claws. How about some of these accessories? Have some nice red pins. Kind of make you hungry, don't they? I think the black and red will work perfectly. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, yeah, one of our own kind. I think it's incredibly bold of them. Very dangerous, but bold. I don't know how it is, how true it is, but 
it's an interesting theory, right? One of our kind blending into the crowd, gaining the trust and then poof, the dust. Oh, that rhymed. <laughs> no. How are those accessories feeling? Do you like them? Good. How about this nice, almost like a ruby? Yeah. And why not? It will sparkle at certain angles. Capturing the light, as will this one, with the gems. It's the same as this. Very pretty, like a sea urchin. More accessories. I think we just have to feature these tiny little beaded clips too. Black pearls, of course. They are quite beautiful. From pirates. Let's just place a few. Help that ribbon blend in a little more. A bit one just in the middle. Maybe just there. I think we just have to include these. They remind me of roses. I'm not really sure why. Roses crafted by Mother Nature. Blood red roses. They always add an elegant touch, romantic touch to any hairstyle, and might I say, they complement your lipstick beautifully. Let's place those in. Beautiful. I've heard other customers whispering their theories about the nightshade too. They say that he might be seeking revenge against a powerful vampire coven who betrayed them long ago. <laughs> Our world is filled with theories, honey. According to the rumours, the nightshade was once a respected member of their coven, known for their charisma and cunning style, but something happened, something that shattered their trust and turned them into this vengeful rogue. What could possibly have caused such a betrayal? You didn't hear it from me, but Belina said that the Nightshade discovered a dark secret within the coven. A secret that threatened their entire existence. They confronted the leaders, hoping for justice, but instead they turned against them, banishing them from their ranks. Can you imagine? 
That must have been devastating. To be thrown from your coven. Without justice. No wonder they're seeking revenge. I think I would too, honestly. But she heard that Nightshade has now made it their mission to dismantle the very coven that once cast them aside. They say that they've been turning humans into vampires as a means to build an army. To wage a war against those who wronged them. A vampire with a vendetta. <laughs> a tale as old as time. But still, it's exciting, isn't it? Such drama in this day and age. It's been a good few centuries since I've had a story as juicy as this, honestly. Now, the last few accessories. Maybe a little crown of jewels to balance it out a little. Let's adorn your hair with dazzling black crystals, reflecting the moonlight with every move. Adding a touch of glamour and sophistication. These two pins will do. To secure it. Welcoming Cassandra. Just look at her dress. She's wearing something even more awful today. Oh, it's a new dress. It looks just beautiful, Cassandra. That girl. No doubt she's bringing more gossip in with her too. I'll get the lowdown from Verity later. Don't worry, I'll catch you up. You know, Adrienne thinks that there's another vampire, equally mysterious and cunning, who's joined forces with the Nightshade. And this ally is said to be a master manipulator, skilled in the art of deception and strategy. An accomplice within our own ranks. <laughs> How thrilling. Nothing like this ever happens these days. Her theory goes that this secret ally shares the Nightshade's desire for revenge and is helping them in the mission to dismantle the vampire coven that wronged them. Now I know what you're thinking. What could they possibly gain? The mysteries of the night run deep. We were discussing and speculate that this secret ally has their own agenda, using the nightshade as a means to further their own power and influence in our intricate vampire society. So it's not just about revenge for them, it's a calculated move to reshape the vampire world. We must always remember that power can be a tempting force, but it's dangerous. The game they're playing. I really hope that the vampire authorities can uncover the truth and put an end to their plans. But I also hope that it lasts a little longer first. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm very much enjoying all of the gossip around this. Makes my job very entertaining. Quite enjoying watching it all unfold. The nightshade remains a mystery. And until they're caught, 
the rumours will keep on swirling. But remember that these are merely whispers and theories. The truth behind the Nightshade's motives remains hidden in the shadows until someone finds an answer. Anyway, you have bigger things to worry about this evening. But rest assured, you look absolutely stunning. This updo frames your face perfectly, accentuating your features and giving you a confident, alluring look. You are going to knock them dead, <laughs> whether you intended to or not. Now, don't be late. Have a great evening. It's always good to have old friends for dinner.